A long, long ago, in the land of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth. Zechariah and Elizabeth loved each other and loved God. They lived a good life, that just the two of them together. Ever since Elizabeth couldn't have children, the years passed and they grew old together. Elizabeth took care of the home and Zechariah worked in the temple. God, I offer this incense on behalf of your people. Receive our offering and... Ah! Who are you? How did you get in here? Don't be afraid, Zachariah. I'm the angel Gabriel. God sent me to tell you that your prayer for the child has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will have a son and you will name him John. He will be a very special child and he will bring you lots of joy. A bit late for that, isn't it? I don't know if you've noticed, but me and my wife, we're kind of old. God can do anything, including making them you. Since you didn't have to believe the good news I brought, you'll just have to stay silent until the baby's born. Alright, I've got other people to visit. Bye. Just as the angel Gabriel had told Zechariah, his wife Elizabeth did in fact become pregnant, even though she thought she was too old. Thank God for this miracle. Maybe now people will finally stop asking me when we're going to have kids, but then again, they may have even more questions for an old woman like me. I better stay home until the baby comes. When Elizabeth was about six months pregnant, the angel Gabriel came yet again, this time to a girl named Mary in a town called Nazareth. Greetings, favored one. Ah, so sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. I'm Gabriel, and you are Mary, God's favorite young lady. Uh, I? What are you doing here? I come with great news. You are going to have a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be the great king that Israel has been longing for. You mean once I married Joseph, right? I'm a little young for kids. Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. This isn't going to be Joseph's child exactly. Excuse me? Your son Jesus will be God's own spirit, his own son, the Messiah. You will become pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. So what do you say? Well, uh, I will serve God whatever in whatever way God asks me. And if that means carrying God, God's child, so be it. Great. Oh, and one more thing. Your cousin Elizabeth, she's pregnant too. Six months along now. Gotta run. Bye. I gotta go see Elizabeth. And so Mary traveled from her home in Galilee to the Judean hill country to visit her cousin. Elizabeth, it's me, Cousin Mary. Oh, Mary, it is so good to see you. Elizabeth, I have some strange news to share. Me too. I'm, I'm pregnant. pregnant. I know. The angel Gabriel told me what a blessing for you. Well, an angel didn't tell me about your baby, but when I heard you outside the baby in my belly jumped for joy, your baby must 
be very special. That's what the angel said, but I'm just so scared. Joseph and I aren't married yet. And what if people talk? It's hard to be excited with so much fear. Mary, will you stay here with me, maybe? Then it's hard to feel joy for ourselves. We can feel joy for each other. I was hoping you'd ask. After the three months of staying together, it was getting close to time for the baby to be born, so Cousin Mary returned home. Ow! Ouch! Zachariah, it's time! How precious, Craig. What a gift. Congratulations. Finally. God bless you. Welcome to the world, Zachariah Jr. His name isn't Zachariah. His name is John. John? But why? No one in your family is named John. Zachariah, your wife is taking advantage of the fact that you're mute. You can't just let her name the baby herself. An angel told me. Wait! I can talk again! Hallelujah! Praise God! This must be one special baby. It was very close to no time for Mary's miracle baby to be born. But the emperor had ordered everyone to return to the home of their ancestors. Joseph's family came from Bethlehem. So they began the long journey. But where would they stay the night? Okay, there aren't any rooms left, but my third cousin twice removed said they would make a room for us if we don't mind sharing space with the ox. I guess the ox will have to do. Oh, ouch, the baby's coming. Now? Now! Good news! Oh, don't worry, I said good news. Tonight in Bethlehem, a savior has been born to you, the Messiah. You'll find him lying in a feeding trough. A feeding trough? Like in a barn? Yes, a feeding trough. All the inns were booked up, so they're rooming with their third cousin's ox. Don't worry about it. As I was saying, you'll find your savior lying in a feeding trough, wrapped up in a simple blanket. This is how you'll know he's the Messiah, a very special baby indeed. Gloria, Gloria Excelsior Deum. Gloria Excelsius Deo. Off to Bethlehem we go. I'm sorry, do you need something? I can take the baby so your sheep can use the feeding truck. Oh no, ma'am, we're here to see the baby. The baby, my baby? Yes, ma'am. The angel came to us in the fields and told us all about your spe very special child. They say he's the Messiah. We had come to see for ourselves. Angel, really hold on. Was one of them about this talk and a little less silly? Oh, you've met? We have met. Ooh. Sorry to disturb you, sir. We were just telling your wife here that the angel to visit us in the fields tells the good news about your baby. That's that he's the Messiah, the Savior of the world, all the world. Can you believe it? God's own son born in a barn, and I get to be his mother. Gloria in ex Excelsius Deo. Gloria in Excelsius Deo. <laughs>